Hey, I'm Sean Small, the owner and engineer here at Ruckus Composites. We wanted to make a quick video about the pros and cons of the quarter tap test. So we got an older mountain bike that's seen a lot of good trail days and a quarter. Uh, the tap test comes from the very simple idea of you tap it and you listen. The pros of the tap test, it only costs you 25 cents. Ha! So the cons are many. So we'll start talking about some of the cons. So the idea is you tap along a tube and you listen for any dead spots or soft spots. But things that affect that sound are tube geometry, tube material, tube thickness, and material quality as well. So this down tube is going to sound way different than this top tube. And as you go up the down tube towards the top tube, you hear the difference in pitch as well. This is due to the material thickness difference of the head tube being about twice as thick as the down tube. Think of it as similar to a drum or any sort of percussion instrument. When you're hitting it, a big drum is going to make a different sound than a little drum, or a drum with a loose membrane on top is going to have a very different pitch than a tight drum as well. Um, so with this bike, honestly, you don't hear anything because we ultrasound scanned it and there was nothing wrong with it. But we don't really rely on the quarter tap test. It's a little too basic for our needs and we can't really tell whether something's damaged or not. So the cons are it's not really that useful unless it's very obvious that something's broken. And we're going to make another quick video where we show when it's obvious and what damage actually sounds like. Stay tuned. 